Hey guys, Antrim here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys the Power of the Elements mod for Minecraft 1.5.2. And what this mod adds into Minecraft is it adds in a couple of different ranged weapons that have some really interesting effects, a couple of melee weapons that ha also have interesting effects, as well as the various ores and blocks that are required in order to craft them. And uh, these various ores that you guys see right here are, well, they spawn naturally throughout uh, any given new vanilla world that you happen to create. Uh, with this mod installed and they appear about as often as iron or uh, as iron ore does and uh, Appropriately many of the various weapons that you craft uh, Have the same sort of power as an iron sword does so yeah What we have here is we have fire crystal ore, I ice crystal lightning crystal air crystal earth crystal and uh, those Correspond to the various effects that many of the ranged and melee weapons have and then there's copper and tin ore Which when you uh, mine them up and uh, smelt them you will get uh, let's see, let's just go into this chest right here. These are the various uh, materials that you'll get once you smelt these materials. When you uh, mine these up, you actually just get like the raw block. So if uh, I were to mine this up, I would actually get this fire crystal ore block. I wouldn't get like a fire crystal ore. That's what I would get after I smelt them. So I'd get fire crystal, ice crystal, lightning crystal, air crystal, earth crystal, and then there's copper and tin ingots that you get after you smelt those, and then you can merge those together in a crafting bench to get a bronze ingot. And uh, as well, some Something kind of random this mod also has raw eggs and fried eggs so if you take a regular egg and put it into a a crafting square uh, you get a raw egg and then you cook it and you get a fried egg so yeah awesomeness <laughs> and I do believe the fried egg is in fact edible so anyways um, the next thing I'm gonna show you guys are all the various different weapons that you can create however there are so many crafting recipes I can't explain them in this video but if you are interested in actually crafting them for yourselves and using this mod on survival then feel free to check out the forum link the link is going to be in the description below and then you can check out all the crafting recipes that you would want for this mod. So anyways, um, let's go ahead and let's check out all these here. So what we have right here are various different things, uh, various different ranged weapons that you can use, and these are their maximum stacks. Uh, the ones that have bigger stacks with 25, those can be thrown directly at mobs to cause different effects, and then the ones with a stack of 5 can be thrown directly at the ground to cause a different effect. So let me go ahead and let me, uh, let me grab some cow spawning eggs here, because cows are just the bane of existence. And uh, let's go ahead and let me throw these at them, and you guys can see what is going Going on here so the fire blast is pretty uh, pretty self-explanatory just sets them on fire and uh, you can also see with the damage indicators mod exactly how much damage it is doing so bam and if you guys are wondering how I'm get how I have uh, a different throwing sound it's because of the auditory mod so don't worry about that but anyway so doesn't do too too much damage uh, can come in handy though I guess if you need to kill them at a distance yeah killing them softly all right so let's go ahead and let's spawn another cow here, and uh, this one, the firebomb, is again what you would expect. Uh, you throw it at the ground and it causes an explosion and sets the ground on fire, and yeah. Okay, die cow! Bam! Bam! Yeah, die cow! Bam! Bam! <laughs> die cow! There we go. Cow is now dead, and I have cooked meat. Let's go ahead and let's spawn one more just to uh, be sure that I really, that I really slam the point home with this cow. Okay. Bam! It appears to go right through them too, so I'm... So if you really want to have this be effective, uh, the, you know, the bomb anyways, you have to throw this like right at their feet. And there's apparently a cave system right beneath here. And that cow is now dead. Okay, let's get rid of the fire here. Fire, fire, go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. I don't, I don't need this. I don't need this much fire. <laughs> All right. So the ice shards, uh, let's go ahead and let's see here. So the ice shards, you throw them at mobs and it will slow them or freeze them. So let's go ahead and let's do this here. Uh, you'll actually see that if you look at the damage indicators mod, you can actually see the slowness effect. And they're pretty much stopped in their place. Like this cow is, this cow's done. You just, you could just, you could just punch him to death. And it would be a cruel death and that is what it would do. Uh, the lightning pulse does something, oh god, it's raining. It's raining! It's raining. Um, weather, clear. Nine, like, 9,000, 90,000, actually. Let's do 90,000. There we go. So, uh, with the lightning pulse here, uh, okay, I need to wait for this rain to stop because it is just way too noisy. But with the lightning pulse, bam, lightning. And he, that cow is gonna die from the fire. <laughs> there we go. And you can see that it sets the ground on, uh, on fire that is right around him. Bam. Can't actually see the lightning, though. It's a little bit weird. Um, not really too sure why that is. Let's see if it can hit me. I have no idea if it can. 
Yeah, I guess it can. Bam, 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 bam. So no matter, no matter where you throw them, causes the explosion effect, or causes the lightning effect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Moving on here to the air disc. And what the air disc, the air disc does is it's just kind of, just like a regular sort of throwing thing. You throw it at them and it harms them. It's just like, you know, sort of like a bow and arrow effect. And it hurts them and that's it. So if you want to throw air discs at the mob, cow stand still. <laughs> there you go. The air bomb kind of works just like a regular bomb. If you throw it at the ground around whatever, uh, it causes a little explosion and bam. So if you just want to throw grenades around, because that's essentially what, I mean, come on. That's essentially what this is here. You're throwing grenades. Okay. Cow, will you catch a grenade for me? Yeah, you will. <laughs> Yeah! Alright, and apparently the, the ground is glitched right here. Uh, sometimes the ground does glitch a little bit, though it isn't really too common of a problem. Um, may, I guess in some instances, that is something that does need to be fixed with the mod because uh, it can happen from time to time. Where like blocks will dis- yeah, okay, so it's actually happening quite a lot here. So that's something to note is that the air bomb can cause glitches uh, that cause the ground around you to be kind of like corrupted. And you can't really walk on it, it's weird. Um, yeah, anyways, so the last of these, let's go and let me go and let me show you this is the air rock and uh what the air rock does is it just it's like that it's like the uh it's like the air disc you just throw it at mobs and it hurts them bam yeah it, you're essentially throwing a rock that's what you're doing i don't know why it's called an earth rock you're you are literally throwing a rock at the mobs <laughs> all right so moving on here let me go ahead and let me put these items back into the chest here and uh, let me show you guys everything else that this mod has to offer so what we have here um i actually feel like i'm missing one of these uh there are three uh, let's see i typed in cow and i might and i meant to type in bow so there are three various different kinds of bows, and I'm, again, I'm not really too sure which one I am missing, so let me just go ahead and let me, uh, let me snag these here. I clearly didn't prepare for this mod review too well, guys. It clearly, clearly something I didn't prepare for. Okay, so it's the lightning one that I was missing. I think it's because I was playing with it earlier. But uh, anyways, so what we have here is we have a fire bow, we have an ice bow, and we have a lightning bow, and these all do exactly what you would expect. Let me go ahead and let me withdraw these here, uh, and then we'll use them. Uh, we use them on mobs and stuff, so these do, again, pretty much what you would expect. They're gonna set that mob on fire and stuff, and it's awesome, and that cow is dead. And they're, these bows actually pretty much one-shot the mob, so very, very powerful. Uh, the ice bow will slow down the mob just like before with uh, the other ice item that I had. You can see that he has a slowness effect on him that is preventing him from moving, and the lightning bow will kill him! Yeah. And you actually can't see the lightning. It's really weird. Like, uh, sometimes it glitches and the lightning actually actually shows up on you. And it's it, it's weird. So let me just go and let me spawn another one here. Cow, shut up! Urgh! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So that is what the bows do in a nutshell. Let me go ahead and let me put these back here. And then we'll show you guys the rest of the things that are on the lineup here. So what we have uh, right here is a couple of miscellaneous weapons. Uh, we have a, a, I think it's pronounced Psy, and an Ice Psy. We have a Battle Axe and a, and a Lightning Battle Axe, a Cane, a Fire Cane. So these are the three various elements put into different weapons. Uh, we have a Bronze Sword, a Dagger, and a Tomahawk. So let me go ahead and let me withdraw all of these here. Um, let's see here. Uh, we're, okay, so well that one's going to be right there, whatever. So let's go ahead and let's spawn a cow here. So all of the, uh, like the Psy, the Battle Axe, and the Cane are just regular weapons. They don't have any special effect whatsoever. And uh, as I said before, they are about as powerful as, um, you know, just as a regular Iron Sword. The Psy here being a little bit weaker, um, I believe, or no, the, uh, Cane here being a little bit weaker. The Psy being, uh, it does 5 damage, and then the Battle Axe does 6 damage. So there is that if you want to use, you know, the most powerful weapon possible. And if we go ahead and we spawn a cow here, um, the lightning battle axe is kind of funny uh, in that when I use it here, I mean, it's a lightning weapon that is melee. So yeah, you are forced to be struck by the lightning that is caused by this weapon. Not sure if that was thought about too much when uh, this, this uh, weapon was created. The fire cane just sets the mob on fire and it is fairly powerful, I guess. Um, die cow, die, Arr! anything that allows me to set a cow on fire is a good mod for me. And then we'll go ahead and we'll use the ice one here, and yeah, he, he, he can't move, he can't move, and then he will die a fiery death. Arr! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, give me, give me that cooked meat, 
That is what I am talking about. And uh, the dagger here does 5 damage as well, so again, can 2-shot mobs. And then uh, the bronze sword here as well also does 5 damage. Um, it's kind of weird though because uh, bronze is technically much weaker than iron, so I'm not sure why it does more damage. But hey, what are you gonna do, right? So, yeah. Anyways... Um, I think I've, oh, I was gonna say, I knew I was, I knew I was missing one thing. So the Tomahawk, uh, acts very much like a, a bow and arrow, and I do believe that if I had, actually, you know what, let me go ahead and let me go into game mode one here, because I don't want to be mistaken. I believe, okay, uh, so the maximum stack is one, actually, so let me go ahead and let me, uh, go into game mode zero here. Let's throw this! Okay, bam. So, okay, so it actually uses durability, which is kind of weird. Oh, okay. Maybe it doesn't, I guess. So, <laughs> all right. So, can I pick these up? I'm actually, I, I'm not, I'm actually not sure at all if I can pick up tomahawks. So let's see here. I did. This is one thing I failed to test. Cow, shut up. Okay, just die by my fist, please, please die by my fist. All right. So let's go ahead and let's go back into game mode zero here and throw the tomahawk. And uh, yeah, okay. So it does appear as if you can pick it back up. But if it hits a mob, it goes away forever. So kind of pointless to have it be able to be something you can pick pick back up. But anyways, it does 7 damage to the cow, and then I guess you can just punch the cow to death and stuff, and yeah, because that, that, that cow is dead, and I am now almost trapped. Okay, but anyways, guys, I think that pretty much covers everything that I wanted to talk about with this mod in a nutshell. In fact, it pretty much covers everything. One thing I am kind of curious, though, is uh, how much this, uh, this egg heals. I think if I turn it on to normal mode here... And I go to game mode zero. My hunger should deplete pretty fast because my hunger saturation should be fairly low. Um, yeah, I wish I had something that could just, that could just, wait a minute. I do, I do have something that I can use to make my hunger deplete. Okay, let's see here. All right, uh, let's go ahead and let me give myself some zombie flesh meat here. So flesh, meat, or rotten flesh, whatever. I don't know why I call it zombie flesh meat. It's flesh. It's not really meat. Um, yeah. Oh man, I can't eat this though. I can't eat it yet. Okay, skeleton, skeleton, I will hit you with my fire cane. Urgh! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm gonna die. I feel like I'm gonna die. Okay, just die. Die, skeleton. Die. Die. Die by my fist. Okay, all right. Ah! Stop. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Stop it. Stop. Okay, stop. St stop it. Stop it. Stop. 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 Okay. Wow, that thing broke fast, so good to know the durability on it is pretty low. So let's see if our fried egg will heal two or more. Let's see here. Yep, it will heal it will heal two or more. Not exactly how much it will heal, but it is at least two. Isn't that isn't that right, chicken? Thank you for your egg. Thank you for your contribution. Bam. Ow. <laughs> and I went up in flames by doing that. So anyways, guys, hope you all have enjoyed the Power of the Elements mod. Um, the link is in the description below as always. But anyways, hope you all have enjoyed. My name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.